art is personal. So it depends on how you react to something. So if people have a different interpretation than me, that means the output is deep enough for them to, to trigger something. Long form creative art takes a lot of mental energy and even physical energy. <laughs> Your job as the artist is to control more or less the algorithm and to have the less surprise possible. But at the end of the day, <laughs> surprises happen. I like a lot everything about sky and planetary phenomena. I wanted to study anticyclones. But the name of the series, their, their effect on the planet is amazing. They just push away everything that you don't like, like rain, you know, darkness, cloud. I wanted to put all this into one single piece. So it was a challenge, uh, definitely, for me to be able to do something like this. But I'm glad because it pushed me way beyond my limits. I had this balance where I loved coding so much and didn't care about art at all. And then little by little, I started to love more art and to inverse the, um, the balance. At a point, I wanted to just make artwork with code. So I started doing this a lot, maybe every day. I'd like to, do, to explore paint more. I don't know how. AI, maybe, I don't know. Just have strength continuing to explore stuff to maybe stumble on something new, you never know. That's the good thing about Genetive Arts, you never know.